Who was that woman in the first set? Yeah, I mean, credit to Yelena for playing well. I just wasn't able to be my best in that first, but that's why they make two sets. Yeah. <laughs> How much were you struggling with your arm? Yeah, I definitely wasn't able to, to do everything that I wanted to, and it took me some time to, you know, kind of get my head around that. Um, but it was good to get through the match and um, not on, you know, on the schedule tomorrow and just try to get ready for Monday. Just talking about how you were able to turn it around and, and, and get that win. Is it just a matter of, of, of raising your level? Were you starting to loosen up a little bit as, as kind of got more time on that, that court? Yeah, I think just um, just trying to get focused and, you know, you have to get disciplined and just try to, you know, try to just deal with what's at hand and try to use the tools that you have on this particular day. So I think just wrapping your head around all that was what I was trying to do. Yes. Venus, uh, a long, long time ago, you beat Dementia in the quarters, and then uh, shortly after that, you came down uh, into the stadium with your dad and were greeted with some un an unkind reception. It's been 16 long years since you scored a win in, in the desert, um, and I'm sure it was many years of reflection. Could you just talk about that period and, and uh, what it meant to be away from here and what it means it's wonderful to see what's how the tournament has developed, which is great for tennis. It's huge. People come from all over the world to be here. It's fr fan friendly, so I love that. I love being a part of that. Um, uh, what else can I say? The past is the past, but I'm happy that I was able to move forward, and everyone was able to move forward. I had so much support today, and yeah, it's nice to get a win here after so very long. It's it's um uh, it's uh, it's very rewarding. Some fans I was talking with that were saying how things have really changed over the years. Uh, people were, the crowd was chanting, let's go Venus. Do you feel, talk about your part of, of making change and, and things transforming? Yeah, Serena came to play here a couple of years ago. So that was, of course, the the first step. So she showed, she did so much and I was, I was really proud of her for that. It made it easy for me. And so had the Last year's tournament ended in a bit of a controversy with the remarks then tournament director Ray Moore made about women and equal prize money, and he's stepped down shortly after that, but still working here in some capacity uh, around the grounds. Uh, just your thoughts on how the tournament handled that, uh, and just how they've reset from that the past over the past year. Yeah, I mean the tournament uh, really is a huge support of women's tennis, and a huge support of men's tennis, and just tennis in general, and. The women love playing here, so I was I was happy that the tournament did stand for uh, equality and and um, low tolerance of of inequality. And I think sometimes people make mistakes, and you know, he probably didn't intend. You don't wake up in the morning and say that this is going to happen. You know, I don't think that's how he was planning his morning. So sometimes things happen, and we all should understand that everyone can be have a bad day and we all can just get better so you're, you're willing to move on it sounds like oh god of course i mean if i wasn't willing to move on i wouldn't be back in indian well so <laughs> it's no good to hang on to things last year you cited your sister as the driving force behind you choosing to come back to this tournament can you say anything about your reaction to her withdrawing she would be here if she could trust me she's um she loves it she uh, it's frustrating when you can't play, especially in the big events. So I just told her, hey, enjoy yourself, you know, get better and enjoy yourself. Try to enjoy the time that you don't have to be running back and forth after ball. But it's, it's easier said than done. It's not fun being away. Venus, after uh, Australia, obviously you were in St. Petersburg for a bit, but did you get finally get a chance to stop and soak it all in what happened there in Melbourne and, uh, and, and what were your takeaways? Somewhat. I think the biggest takeaway for me was just even more confidence. That's the biggest takeaway and I definitely look forward like all right let's, I want to build on that and and continue to play well and to uh, just improve my game which is what I worked on. So I'm not necessarily living in the past it just makes me 
more excited for the future. So would you say that pulling out today's match could have been, was it maybe a legacy of what you achieved in, in Melbourne? Um, legacy? <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I, walk on, I walk, definitely walked out there confident that I could, that I can compete. Like any match I walk out there, I know that I'm going to really compete, and that gives me confidence in itself. And definitely playing well in Melbourne, I, th I think, was a factor in being able to win today, for sure. Tommy Haas is tournament director. Now he's someone who's found, you know, your career is probably about the same timeline, and he's still playing sort of semi-actively. What are your thoughts on, on that pick? And how oh, he's that? still playing? He's, he's entered in Miami, I think. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, so he's still not totally. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so yeah, he's had he's had a lot of tough injuries, but he always came back, and it was just amazing to see him do that. So, I think that whatever he puts his mind to, he's probably going to excel. You see yourself being a tournament director? Okay. No, I don't no. think so. Why not? <sighs> I think I have another job after this, so I, I'll have my hands full somewhere else, and I probably wouldn't be able to give the time and attention that something like this deserves. Do you think a turn a recent and current ish player? Uh, in that sort of role, would have a bring a different take to it, or what do you think that's? Oh, of course, they're going to understand what it's like uh, to be a player, and then they're going to understand what it's like from the tournament side. I think we all understand that matrix, um, so I think it's a good idea for sure. You were born in California. What what do you like most about the desert? I just feel at home in California. Like when I land, I'm like, all right, I'm home. So there's not a lot of places in the world that you feel at home, and I'm fortunate to have more than one. And here is um, it's very relaxing, so you can like play, and that's it. In Australia, you spoke about the win with, for Serena being a win for both of you. Are you communicating with Serena now, and is she kind of giving you some, um, you know, push towards doing well here? Of course, yeah. You know, said great match, so but I haven't had a chance to talk to her yet. But she's watching. You're so positive, but if there were one thing that you could change in our sport, uh, could you suggest one thing that? Yeah, I think doubles is very exciting and it's um, undervalued. I'd love to see doubles be more appreciated and, and, and grow. I think it's a commodity, long-term plan. But I love watching doubles. It's just the exchanges, you can't really recreate that in singles. So. Perhaps down the road that would be something that would be something we're looking at. Al says he plays doubles for fun. Is it a lot of fun for you, and does that help you extend your career? I play doubles for Grand Slam titles, <laughs> and that's fun. Do you play mixed doubles with anyone? Serena Williams. Mixed. Serena Williams. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my chances. <laughs> Venus, you, uh, it's 10 years since uh, you were one of the leaders of Wimbledon Equal Prize Money, which just came in 2007. What are, you, what are your reflections on that? Oh my gosh, the 10 year anniversary? Bananas. <laughs> Boy, did time fly. But it's a good, a good reason to uh, celebrate. So maybe the WT, maybe we should do something for that. So I hadn't realized 10 years had gone by. What do you remember most about that sort of crossing that finish line finally? I don't think anyone thought we were going to get there that fast. I was ready to fight for like a number of years. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, uh, everyone gathered together. Everyone was able to communicate. The, the Grand Slams were able, were able to, to find a common ground. And it was wonderful to see all the bodies of tennis working together like that. So that was the most surprising part. It was a great thing, though. Do you have any, do you have any current battles you feel like you're pushing for on prize money fronts or on other my current battle involves me getting uh, closer to number one, so that's the biggest battle I'm fighting right now. It's uh, rather selfish, perhaps. Shahar just announced her retirement, and you played an incredible role in that situation a long time ago. Could you just talk about that, what your feelings were like you decided to step forward? I had no plans to play a role at all, but... I just ended up being in that final, and I just don't, I don't like to, like, not confront stuff that's not happening, and it was happening, and it was, somebody to say so. <laughs> so it was, it was no plan. It was, I happened to be in the finals and got to be in a, in a position to say something. It was the right, it was the right. She was, she's an unbelievable competitor and deserved the right to have an opportunity to, 
to represent who she was and sport brings people together so it was sad to see like oh no uh, that it could be so broken did she talk to you at, at, at the time or afterwards we never really talked about it maybe one day we will yeah uh, Maria Sharapova is coming back next month in Stuttgart and has gotten a few wild cards already in some tournaments and others are still weighing their decisions. Just what are your, your thoughts on that sort of the first time scenario we've had that's a big star coming off of something like this and how you think she'll be or should be received? Uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any precedent for it. I, um, I don't really have a particular thought about it. Yeah, I think the the bodies have made their decision and she has an opportunity to come back and continue her career and I think she should be allowed to continue that if people want to give her wild cards I guess it's a, it's a tournament's decision as they weigh other wild cards but uh, it'll be nice to have her back in the game Can I just go back a, a few questions uh, when you were talking about and I don't wish retirement on you but uh, you, you said you, you'd have another job um, once Playing is done. Is that purely going to be 11 by Vince Camuto, or is it going to be a lot more than that? Um, <laughs> um, it'll be it's just that, and hopefully some time like on the couch in my house. <laughs> that will be new and interesting for me. But um, it'll be interesting to to get a life, but. While I can still hit the ball rather well, then we'll see how that goes. Like, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm here. That's where I want to be. What are, what are your favorite couch activities right now? What are you watching? I, I never really get to sit on the couch. No. No, I never home. When I am home, it's like every moment is well used because that moment's going to end. So, yeah, me and the couch, we'll have a reunion. Yeah. Thank you. Can you talk Thank about you. the next round real quick before I, you I don't, I don't know who I'm playing, but whoever it is, I really hope I play well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.